I graduated, I got a job right away at, a, at an accounting firm on Bay Street. I thought that you found a job and you didn't necessarily love what you did, and then you basically repeated until you retired. And it wasn't until I got laid off and then I got, you know, started with acting that I realized you can actually do something that you feel insanely passionate about, that you want to wake up every day and, and do. I was at home and unemployed and, and kind of just trying to find a way to pass the time. Like I wanted to do something that piqued my interest, something that was totally different than what I was used to, which was basically going to work every day, nine to five. And uh, for some reason, Guillermo del Toro's new movie was looking for Chinese extras and they had put out this like huge casting notice. Of course, I was like, oh my God, I gotta do this. This, this is a sign, right? So I emailed, I got an answer right away. I was over the moon. I was like so excited. I thought maybe that would be my big break, but I loved every single second of being on that set. Point for duty, Captain. I guess the first point it became real for me was kind of after I booked my first TV role. My first TV role was like a two-liner on Nikita. I still remember very clearly. I played a Hong Kong desk cop. I spoke English with a Cantonese accent, and I had two lines. The first kind of inclination that I had that Kim's was going on was that uh, I was doing a play called Banana Boys at the Factory Theater, and one day Ince Choi showed up. So he came by just to say hi to the cast, watch us rehearse, and uh, to wish us luck on opening night. And then, you know, very casually he says, oh, hey, by the way, I'm doing this show called Kim's Convenience. It's, we're turning it into a TV show, and uh, I'm going to be looking for people soon. And he just kind of left it at that. Then I hear nothing from him for, I think, almost six months. And then in February the next year, um, you know, I got a call to come in and audition. I mean, I knew that my life would change, but in a thousand years, I never would have predicted that it would become this kind of phenomenon. It's the single most amazing, incredible thing that's ever happened to me.